That's skin on with this one. Skin on possum. It's an awesome possum. To give you the Coles Notes version, a rundown. Basically what I did, piece of punky wood and I basically scraped it down. That's uh, one bare bottom possum. And then we'll rake the coals over in this area here to uh, hopefully slow cook it and preserve all that goodness. We're in the thick of it now. We got ourselves a, a bird already. That's gonna be a different story. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Oh, but uh, we've also got word that we're, there's a possum up here in one of the traps. So that's where we're headed right now. First oh yeah, trap. First, first trap. trap. Look at that. So we've got we've got a cat to eat. You guys got to watch the whole series. We got a cat to eat. Man, it's looking up. That's a big possum too. That's like that's several pounder. Got to yeah. be a couple pounds there, eh? Yeah. New possum? Have you done possum before? <laughs> I've never done possum. We don't have many pot. Like we have a couple possums, not too many. So that guy's gonna have to keep there for a little bit while we eat everything else. That's a good sized possum. That's it's a nice, possum. cool. Nice cool day though. They can stay inside the humane trap. He's got a meal. All right, man. So what's the plan? Uh, we're gonna have to eat possum after a while. We got some other stuff to eat, but Magabelli humane live trap. He's already had a meal. It's a nice cool day. He can stay in here for a little bit longer, and then uh, fresh meat. Yeah, man. How big is he? You figure how many pounds? Three, four, three. Three or four. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three and four. Yeah, right there in between. But that's a good meal. Possum makes a good meal. Might be wondering why we use the live traps. There's a good reason for it. It's hot here. It's like, you know, hot, hot, Texas hot. So uh, we've got the live traps. The animals will stay fine in the traps. Uh, we don't have to worry about them. Obviously, we're going to take care of them and make sure they have, you know, th the things that they need to live. And uh, most of these animals are nocturnal anyway, so they're not busy during the day. So they're not eating during the day, so it's all good. And they got a meal in there if they really want it. But the uh, thing is just to keep them in the shade. Uh, you know it's the best thing we can do right now while we get ready for uh for everything else so it's all good all right guys whenever you cook an animal you always got options if you've been watching this channel for long enough you know that's the case we caught this guy in a live trap pretty simple throw a little bit of bait in there and he came right in so you know lots of people make fun of other guys eat possum but there's nothing wrong with eating possum i tell you that much just like any eating any other animal meets meat so thing is i want to try to preserve as much fat as possible and the most of the fats contained in the skin you have an easy job plucking a bird but plucking a mammal is a little bit different i've seen it done i don't understand specifically the mechanics of it but the best way to learn is by practicing in trial and error and there's not a lot of people who go through the trouble of plucking a possum but i'm one of those guys going to go through trouble plucking a possum see if i can do it Tried on a hare rabbit before uh, on a quick dunk and uh, not super successful. The skin's really thin on it. I think the possum's gonna have a bit thicker skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it nice and wet and then I'm gonna bring it up to the fire and singe it up there. And I'm hopefully that the combination of the heat uh, from the fire and the water is gonna heat it enough that I can pluck it and just pull the hair out. So let's give it a quick, wash, quick, quick, quick wash. Dude, this low sugar. Oh yeah, indeed. Jeez, man, it's not that many days in the challenge, and uh, I'm already feeling it. It's hard to it's hard to concentrate, but you gotta keep going, man. You gotta keep the calories rocking. So I honestly have no idea if this is gonna work or not. <laughs> if it doesn't work, we're I mean, we're gonna suffer through it, or we're gonna skin it. There's always a backup plan. I've singed hair off of rabbit, and it works. You just don't want all that burnt hair everywhere. Oh yeah, it's coming off a little bit there. You can see how that's working. I don't think we want to keep it on too much. So we steam it or boiling it off? It's working, man. Whew, that's a hot heat. So it does work, man. Like that skin is intact. It's like I haven't, I haven't, by using this uh, piece of wood, I haven't even pierced the skin yet. So, I mean, that's, that's as good as you can get. I need a bit more water on here just to get the inside part. But uh, yeah, that'll rinse off and it'll be nice and clean. All right, guys, we're done. Finished up. 
That's uh, one bare bottom possum. <laughs> so it's ready to go on the grill. The idea is, as you would a pig, you maintain all that fat in there. Yeah, all I did was I took this punky piece of wood, run it down, didn't use my knife or anything, put a bunch of water on every once in a while, put it back on the fire, take it off, scrape it, and then over time it just, you know, there's a couple hair here and there. That'll singe off in the fire when we cook it. Now I'm just gonna go rinse this guy off and then we're ready to spit roast him. So if you guys wanna see a little bit more, go over to the Uncensored channel. But uh, you gotta be over 18. Put this guy in the spit now. Thorns on everything. Oh, geez. So we got ourselves a spit, ready-made spit, two forks, and branch in between. Yeah. That's how we do it. That's how we do. Just a tad bit more on the right? Is yeah. good enough? A little bit more on the right. Okay, you shovel it out or clip it? Probably shovel it. enough roughness to be able to spin that and it'll, it'll catch all yeah, the way. That's every awesome. Once, every once in a while we spin it. So we gotta take this right down. Probably should probably should have got a smaller stick. No doubt. Small animal. No hog. If you don't know man this took us a lot <laughs> It takes a lot of energy to whittle this thing down, man. But uh, we tried three times already to get it through. This time's gotta go, man. <laughs> Line her up. That don't look right at all. That don't look right? Yeah. Come on now. Hey, we got it. Third time to charm. Yeah, we're, we're a little shy on the skin up front. We might have to bore a bit of wire. Yeah, wire I go, on. go a little bit more. Get it right in the middle. Hey, we got ourselves a spit. There we go, and it's locked and loaded. Look, we all, there's a nice nubby there. We can twist it, lock her in. It's almost like we designed it like that. All right, guys, we got our pig on the roast. Uh, this will be a good experiment for everybody who likes to see us spit roast things. It's probably the wrong time to be spit roasting something. Uh, it's gonna take at least three, four hours. The safest way to do it is just put it in the pot. We have the cast iron, throw in the pot, bunch, bunch of water in there, spices, and everything is gonna collect inside the pot and we're gonna be able to drink everything. Make it all liquidy. So I hope I can sell you guys on that idea, but I do wanna try it. We have the opportunity here. I wanted to try doing the different skinning method with plucking a mammal, see if it was possible and it totally is possible. It's totally a viable solution. If you didn't have any pots and pans, this is your solution. This is how you cook. All right, man, so we got uh, we just stole a little bit of fence wire up here, here, that's it. Just to make sure the neck doesn't fall off. Should have probably kept it up a little higher. But now we uh, got an active spit roast down here. All we gotta do is uh, make a big fire, let that burn down to coals, and then we'll rake the coals over in this area here to uh, hopefully slow cook it and preserve all that goodness. All the goodness that we might get inside the skin, I am gonna add a little bit of spice to uh, in the inside there. And we all set. Just a couple hours to let it cook, that's all. That's a wadobo spice all the way from Canada. I smuggled it in. No label, nothing, no ingredients. They had no idea. Smells good though. Put that on the possum. It's a possum awesome.
There it is, man. What do you think about that? It's done. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Should be perfectly cooked. It's like a big piece of jerky at this point. That's skin on with this one. Skin on possum. It's an awesome possum. You bigger <laughs> knife? Yeah. Oh, that meat sure. smells good though. You smell that meat? A little bit. Are we worried about parasites in this meat? Shouldn't be. Marsupials is the only one in North America. Not many parasites can take on opossums, not internally. There you go. You did all the work. It smells halfway decent. I'll let you go first. You'll let me go first? <laughs> all right, we gotta cheers it. Yep, All right. yep, get you a piece. Let me suck it. There's some fat in here. You can feel it. Could be fat, could be a scent gland. <laughs> Not really selling this possum <laughs> right now. I'm a stew guy. You guys wanted us to do it this way. Why don't you ever put something on a spit? Well, this is part of the reason why. It's dry and tough. It's like a leather shoe. I mean, maybe we overdid it a little, but not really. I mean, just that's just right. That's kind of just right and half pink. Yeah. So well, if I got a parasite. It's your fault. Eh. He took the hair off, left the skin on. That was pretty cool technique. It's a cool technique, it, and it's it's if you don't have a pot, right? I gotta yeah. get under the shoulder blade here. This is not done. I'm not gonna eat that. That's pink. Hard to control the temperature when you're on a spit. I mean, that's problem yeah. number one. I'm not throwing this away. I'm not throwing anything away. This is going to go in a pot. We're going to actually finish this right. In piece? Yeah, I'm going to go a piece. Yeah. Keep on, I guess I'm just hungry. Keep on trying to eat this thing. I mean, it smells like good roast beef. Yeah. Right? It smells just a little off. <laughs> but. Wild meat always smells a little bit meat off. Meat is still meat, yeah. Cheers. You ready? That's good meat. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. No. Nope. I haven't had the skin yet. The skin is going to be just like hard to eat. Now you can smell that adobo sauce, but see what it tastes like. Chunk of meat, or chunk of skin. Oh man, can you even chew that? Just store it in your mouth. Fatty. It tastes of fat. I'm chewing it like calamari, man. Just like calamari, it's yeah. chewy. You can see there's actually a yellow layer of, of uh, skin. It's all, it's all just really fatty. Still tastes good though, it's good fat. Uh, it's not bad. The moisture in the meat's still there, so as far as an experiment goes, it's, it was successful. It did what it was supposed to it do. It looks horrible, but it's, it's working. Yeah, you know, one side, the other side, one side's pink, the other side's brown. You never know when it's done, but if you put it in a pot, you can't ever burn it. Mm -hmm. you know, your biggest risk is running out of water. But as long as you keep on top of that, you're all good. So I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna quarter it up, put it in the pot, stew, stew him up, revisit this guy later. Keep talking about brain. You gonna try and find one in there? Suck the brain out of that thing? Yeah. It's gonna be the size of a marble. Possums are weird. No. No. Guys, if you're just joining us on the Willis Living Challenge, Seriously, I gotta preface this. This isn't a joke. We're not fooling around and killing animals for fun. No. So if you're gonna complain about that, think about this, okay? We are actually subsisting off of wild foods. And if we don't eat this possum, you know, we gotta go to a grocery store. And the plan is not to go to a grocery store, so. Um, yeah, man, we're in uh, day three now. Trying something new, trying to add something different. To the challenge and clearly it's uh it's not the way to go Stu cast irons pots are the way to go right way easier but it's a fun experiment it's doable you can do it when you want to tend to it and you're uh you're good at your craft i would recommend like getting some butter and injecting it inside and all that good stuff keep it nice and moist but uh <laughs> how to cook your possum how do you cook your yeah. possum it's good the flavor is good i like it it's just chewy you guys uh if you just started following along, 
It's Bob Hansler. He's got his own YouTube channel. Come check him out. And guys, there's a lot more to come. If you're just tuning in, there's way more ahead of this too. We're just starting. And we're just <laughs> starting. We're just getting going. So go check out the other videos and uh, follow us along, man. Much more to come. Hoorah. All right, let's put this guy in a pot. Yep, pot possum. All right, so course number two. <laughs> it's all just kind of running together. It's all kind of running together, yeah. man. So these are uh, a little overdone. Clearly that yeah, one's no just, good. Just right, man. Oh. That's, some of the, like, the end ones fell in. Okay. All right, so there's still a little, still some of those, uh, <laughs> I gotta find one that's de have decent. Near the end here, the big fat ones. So what are you doing, you're just peeling it open? Yep, you don't really eat the skin, the goodies inside. So you promised me mashed potatoes. Maybe one time I'll be able to cook these. I actually cook these all myself. You like okra? You gave me the techniques. Okra, yeah. You know what it reminds me of? Milkweed. And I, I, I don't like milkweed. It's like got that green, that green bean bitter. Green bean but bitter. It's got green bean in there all over there. You like your cactus broth. I like the cactus fruits. It's not great, but there's a there's a wide variety of palates. People have a wide variety of palates. It's certainly edible, but I don't find it all that great. A little bit of dipping sauce. Mm. So that's what it looks up up close. They got that mucilaginous kind of sticky, slimy. Look at that slimy mess. And uh, you just eat the outside. Uh, occasionally, pay the price. Because you get one of those thorny bits in your tongue. Follow the glue. Fun times. Where I kind of developed the technique to waste most of the fruit so I don't have to eat it by getting rid of just chopping them off. Chopping the whole skin off. But there's so much waste there. The seeds are so good. I thought it was something getting something special. Um, you know, somebody's watching this and be like, oh, stupid Canadian, these are great because they actually sell these in the store. They sell these in the store, but of course they don't come with the spikes. Just the big draw. Like, I could just make a mess of this. I gotta learn how to eat these. I just eat the seeds. Definitely some volume in there. It's all good till you get on the tongue. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I was gonna say they're bad, I'm just not a big fan. It's not a party until you get a clock in the tongue. <laughs> yeah, and they're already my fingers, and my fingers are sticky. Bah. I gotta go wash my hands. Back down the hill, wash my hands. Up and down, up and down. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm tuning out. These continue. We go on and on and on and on and on. We're on day three. The Wilderness Living Challenge. We're here in Texas. This is hump day. There's a lot more to come. Keep watching. Oh. Hey, good morning guys. It's day four. We're in the thick of it now. But uh, it's uh, 6 a.m. ish. Oh, I could sleep. And uh, I feel super, super hungry. So we have food on hand as we do. Um, 
wanted to show you, jeez, I forget what this is now, uh, the possum, it's the possum, I wanted to show you the, uh, congealed, this is what happens when you cook the skin down, you get a big huge layer of fat on top there, it's uh, the gelatin, yeah, it's uh, it's real buttery. So we'll see what that does. Like my my uh, mind is fried right now, hungry. So I'm gonna eat just the gelatin fat here. The texture you would not like the texture on that. It's like eating the top of the soup, you know, let it cool off in the fridge, make like a turkey soup or a chicken soup. Hey guys, I'm back in Canada and I've been doing a pile of editing. I want to keep this video series rolling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release a video every Tuesday and every Friday. This is going to be going on for about two and a half months. I have 19 episodes in total. So what I'm going to ask you to do is support the channel. What I want you to do, if you can, is please watch the video entirely from the beginning right to the end. YouTube is tracking all sorts of uh, data in their algorithm and what they want to see is a high watch time or retention time. So if you guys can do that and you like the series and you want me to continue doing that, that's one small way you guys can help. Leave lots of comments down on the bottom, not just one but a bunch of them, that helps. Of course hitting the like button is super easy, you can do that too. And sharing it. If everybody shared it to five people, it would get big really fast. And lastly, if you want to support it monetarily, you can buy a t-shirt. I'm hoping to get some more t-shirts up. If the t-shirts are available, I'll provide a link. If not, you can always offer a PayPal donation that will come directly through me. To me, you can also hit the sponsorship button. It's a new uh, feature that YouTube has added. You click sponsor and it's a monthly uh, subscription. So I think it's $5.95 or something like that. And uh, ongoing supports the channel. So guys, I hope you enjoy the series. Um, if you guys want me to continue doing this, you want me to go to other different places, uh, let me know. If you have access to land, um, you know, private land, and there's a lot of hunting, fishing, opportunities, trapping, that sort of things, and you want to invite me up and a guest or a couple, a couple guests, let me know. Shoot me an email for that. I do not always get to all the comments to do my best, but if it's, a, uh, if it's an important thing like, hey, you want to uh, hook me up with some land and you've got it ready to go, let me know. So uh, I'd like to explore and open different doors and avenues and see where this, uh, this YouTube thing and the survival wilderness living thing takes me. So I would definitely let, welcome some, uh, some offers of getting into new lands all over the world. So let me know.